Ken is a character that in a very short period of time goes through an awful lot of traumatic stuff. So it was a very challenging, very demanding role, the majority of which was spent in a dressing gown. So Lady J and I are uh, a bunch of rich <laughs> who sort of live in a big manor house and uh, we're very posh, despite the fact that I try so hard not to be. And I partially do that by hanging out with an absolute <laughs> called Joseph Chaplin. But they're still best friends. They still have a lot of good times. They have a lot of fun. They get drunk, they kick back, they're still very, very close. I have a bad blood condition, uh, which Lady J and I have tried everything to try and resolve, but nothing has worked. I had inherited this bad blood from Baron Blood, uh, who is a vamp. He was, he was very good in his, in his role. Uh, yeah, it was great, nice bloke. And Callum, to his credit, really, really stepped up and played this role so incredibly well and so diligently and did a brilliant job of bringing this traumatic character to life and death and life again and then death again i don't, I don't really know how the vampire life and death thing works but but callum was awesome i will not have that kind of language in my house lady j is played by maureen uh, who is my on-screen mother, although I wish she was my off-screen mother. An absolute delight. Quite an eventful character to deal with. Maureen's got a lot of class and experience as a performer, and it was immense fun to work with her as well, and a real honour and a privilege, because she's got a lot of experience, a lot of ideas, she's got such great poise. In the comics, Lady J is also Spitfire, who is a speedster who can run and move incredibly fast. Uh, there's a very complex backstory and history there including having a blood transfusion from the original Human Torch. What we decided to do instead is focus on her uh, post all of the Invader stuff when she is essentially a woman who has retired and gardens and sips tea and, and what have you, the Lady of the Manor. So we're going for that specific uh, version of Lady J. She is very elegant and ladylike and is perfect for that character. So I think everybody that knows Maureen imagined her as Lady J when they were reading the script and chatting about it, she was perfect. She put her heart and soul into her performance as well. When it came to casting Lady J, there was no decision-making process. Lady J is Maureen, Maureen is Lady J. I wouldn't be surprised if the comics were based on Maureen, to be honest, she, she just is Lady J. I was watching uh, the uh, scene where she's introduced the other day and she just uh, has this very, has a grandeur to it, the whole, she uh, inhabits that uh, manor house really well and yeah, the, plays the role of this uh, matriarch of the whole show. And there's a real kind of maternal mother-son relationship going on between me and Lady J, who Maureen plays. So Maureen, uh, who is an absolute trooper, might I add, uh, had to go through a hell of a lot over this project, including twatting her head on a bed frame. She upped it so hard that she spun round, fell backwards, and um, when she hit the bed, like, <laughs> actually a real <laughs> clonk. Which was absolutely the scariest moment of my life. Um, especially because I was the one who pushed her over. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't seen her since she banged her head, is she okay? I thought, oh, she's uh, been killed there. Um, I hope the camera was rolling for that, because we won't be doing that again. Cup of tea? Her and uh, Percy make a great double act there, just continually swilling tea. Lady J, very posh well-to-do lady, and she's got this butler. In the comics, the Fallsworths always have a butler. Uh, there was Hodgkins and there was Percy, so we kind of combined these two into Percy Hodgkins. Chris Punter, as the butler Percy, uh, is effectively in charge of delivering the comic relief lines, I'd say. Anytime something goes wrong, anytime you, you know, the characters find themselves in dire straits. He is always there with a cup of tea. He was going to be quite a serious butler, I believe. Um, but somehow along the line, I think I seem to have brought my own sort of ideas and character to him and hopefully added a little bit extra. The great thing that Percy embodies is that normal life resumes, even though there's this crazy, almighty battle between good and evil raging right outside the house. Easy to get on with. Lovely guy, wonderful hair. Easy to get on with. Great hair. Very easy to get on with. And he does what he can to help. And he's still aware that it's a team effort. And that sometimes what you need is a cup of tea at the end of the day. It was quite a difficult thing. I'm, even though I don't have many lines, I just sort of Googled a few butlers and sort of thought about the character a little bit and just 
took it as one big challenge and uh, my idea was just to have a bit of fun on the set and just sort of go with the flow and see what I can bring. So that's what I done really, yeah. It was, it was an honour. He was the most enthusiastic of all of us. That was one of the most enjoyable uh, scenes to shoot where we're outside the mansion house, outside the, the manor there. He had a couple of lines to do that had to be done a million times and I think the bits where he's forgetting his lines are put into the final scenes there. So it's great he gets asked something and then there's a, a sort of look, expression of confusion and line forgetting that worked so brilliantly for that character. Great sense of style. Cannot remember a line to save his life. <laughs> you know when you do a wedding speech you have the little cards and little lines so I thought I'd go along that, that way of learning the lines but I don't know if it was nerves or something. Once you go action, everything changes. And, you know, sometimes I'll get it right or sometimes I'll get it wrong. But so, yeah, I, I just wanted to be a bit more prepared, um, read my lines before I've done it and sort of try and get it right. Often what will solve a lot of your troubles in a very English way is a sit down with a cup of tea and that form of liquid repast and timeless tonic a cup of tea. And Chris did a fantastic job of bringing that to life and it would not be the same show without him.